HighTimeToAwake.com presents High Time to Awake. Bible Prophecy with Craig C. White. Today we have a Damascus, Syria in Bible Prophecy 2013 update. Hi, this is Craig C. White with a video update of my previous video titled Damascus, Syria, and Bible Prophecy. In Isaiah chapter 17, it talks about the future destruction of Damascus. also mentions the destruction of Damascus in Jeremiah chapter 49 and Amos chapter 1. So, um, Jeremiah and Amos refer to past events. In 734 the Assyrian Empire came down and conquered Syria. Uh, they invaded Damascus and conquered Damascus, carried away many uh, slaves, but they did not destroy the city. So Jeremiah and Amos and Isaiah also refer to a future destruction of Damascus and uh, I believe that's an end time uh, destruction of Damascus uh, it's a time just before or during uh, the seven-year tribulation period which is a seven-year time of judgment uh, specifically designed for Israel but also uh, a seven-year period of God's judgment on all of the earth so that's the time period we're talking about it seems that we're uh, nearing that. And, uh, in 734 BC, uh, the Assyrians did invade Syria, conquering Syria, and immediately afterwards they came down and invaded Israel, northern Israel. Uh, I believe that that is a model for the future destruction of Damascus, which could happen very soon. So, uh, the nation that leads the invasion into Ma into Damascus uh, soon will probably, according to the biblical model, also lead the forces that are fighting in Damascus into Israel. In Ezekiel chapter 38 verse 5, it mentions uh, three nations that Turkey will lead in an invasion in an invasion into Israel and they are Iran Libya and Sudan and today those are the primary people fighting in Syria uh, Al-Qaeda uh, is fighting against Assad and against the Assyrian army uh, Al-Qaeda uh, fighters from Libya are the majority of the Free Syrian Army. The Free Syrian, Ar Syrian Army, which are the rebels, is not made up of Syrian citizens. Uh, there are no Syrian citizen brigades fighting in Syria. They are Al-Qaeda. Al-Qaeda is made up of soldiers primarily from Libya, but also Iraq. I also want to mention that Iran and Sudan are represented in uh, Syria now. Uh, they are Hezbollah from Iran and Sudan and they are actually fighting against the rebels. But uh, on occasion even Hezbollah has uh, offered to cooperate with um, Al-Qaeda and the Free Syrian Army. So uh, they're not beyond getting together to invade Israel together. So uh, Sudan and Iran are represented in Syria right now as uh, Hezbollah. And uh, most lately there are Al-Qaeda uh, fighters from Saudi Arabia. Now Saudi Arabia is also mentioned in Ezekiel chapter 38 verse 13. Uh, it says that when uh, Turkey leads these three nations into 
uh, an invasion into Israel, they say, why are you going there? Are you going there to take a spoil, or are you going there to rob them? So Saudi Arabia uh, is also represented in Syria now. Um, Al-Qaeda from Saudi Arabia are terrorists. They cause all sorts of trouble in Saudi Arabia. The government, the Saudi Arabian government, is against them. They fight them in Saudi Arabia. Yet, they are supporting them in Syria because they don't want the other factions to take control. All right? uh, the battle in Syria is basically a battle between uh, letting Al-Qaeda, which is supported by the Muslim Brotherhood, so a Muslim Brotherhood, Islamist rule in Syria, you know, or somebody else. So, uh, you know, that's that's the goal. The, uh, they're the New World Order types, and I could name a few, but uh, are fighting for control of the Middle East. You know, the, they fought for uh, Libya to be more Islamist and to come under the umbrella of the Muslim Brotherhood and uh, also Egypt which worked for a while and uh, it's not things are not over in Egypt they, they are in for a lot of trouble there and uh, now Syria and you know uh, that's very important to some people I, I, I think it's awful but they're fighting for control of Syria and uh, Saudi Arabia Libya Iran, Sudan are the main people fighting in Syria. They are also the people listed in Ezekiel chapter 38 verse 5. So after the destruction of Damascus, which I think will be by the nation of Turkey, if we follow the ancient biblical model of the Assyrian invasions into uh, Syria and then Israel, then after the destruction of Damascus, I think that Turkey is going to lead the people who are already there fighting into an invasion into Israel All right now that might sound like a, a far-fetched idea but that's the biblical model uh, I have a lot of uh, commentaries on the future Turkish led invasion and Ezekiel chapter 39 uh, 38 and 39 Isaiah 10 all of that's on my website high time to I also have uh, two books that are very uh, appropriate for these subjects. One is Syria in Bible Prophecy, which also can, contains commentary uh, about Egypt in Bible Prophecy. And I also have another book that is ex an extremely important uh, book and will bring things together from a biblical perspective so you can really understand the future invasion uh, into Israel. Um, I, they're not going to wipe out Israel, but you know they certainly could do a lot of damage. And uh, there's a lot of events uh, associated with it. God will fight the invading uh, forces with the forces of nature. He'll confuse them. He'll have them shooting at each other. So there's a lot of things to know. There's a lot of things that the Bible tells us. So if you can get halfway to Arm to Armageddon, that's all about the future Turkish-led invasion. Uh, let me talk about the Syrian refugees a little bit. Uh, there are close to 2 million Syrian refugees registered in outside countries. So that means there's probably a lot more than 2 million who have fled the country. There is uh, 4 million, 4.5 4 million, something like that, uh, Syrians who have been forced out of their homes at this point. Uh, a lot of those people are seeking refuge in Damascus. In Jeremiah, it says that uh, Damascus will turn to flee. So a lot of them already have. Hundreds of thousands have left Damascus already. But Damascus has uh, 2.6 million people uh, in the metropolitan area. And uh, fairly soon in the news, uh, you know, I, I think we should expect to see that you know, hundreds of thousands, if not millions, are fleeing the city of Damascus. So that's one very specific Bible prophecy that we can uh, keep our eyes open and look for and listen for reports. Uh, also in Jeremiah chapter 49, it says that uh, 
the young men will um, fall in the streets of Damascus and that the soldiers will be left behind in Damascus and will perish with the city, will die in the city, and that the city will be destroyed until it's no longer called a city. Uh, it also, uh, Jeremiah also says that God will kindle a fire on the walls of Damascus. Um, kindle a fire was used in the Assyrian invasion as well, that term. Uh, that phrase it means that God will send an army so you know nobody's going to uh, nuke Damascus at least I don't think they are but uh, an army will come against Damascus and destroy it so uh, hopefully I've covered a, a few things that I wanted to catch up on uh, please go to my website hightimetoawake.com uh, all my pro all my uh, commentaries my prophecy commentaries are on the website you can read them right there uh, also they are collected in uh, those two books Syria and Bible prophecy and halfway to Armageddon so uh, please read my commentaries uh, please get my books there I think they're going to be a great help and uh, I'll see you next time thank you to read my full commentary go to hightimetoawake.com you may also contact me through the website as well as check out my new book. Thanks.